This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrelly Waller. On today's global growing international concern about the spread of the new COVID variant as it becomes the dominant strain in South Africa. There were 8,500 daily infections on Wednesday. The vast majority are Omicron, a sharp increase from only 300 a week ago. Germany considers an act of national solidarity to reduce the infection rate. The unvaccinated could be barred from culture and leisure nationwide. We'll be live in Johannesburg to get the latest on the ground. We'll also talk to an expert analysing the data that's emerging. Also on the programme. The Women's Tennis Association suspends all events in China amid concerns sexual assault allegations made by the tennis star Feng Shui have not been investigated. We'll speak to Pam Shriver. And Afghanistan's former president speaks to the BBC. Hamid Karzai calls for international help to avoid a humanitarian crisis. They better come and help the Afghan people. They and their allies and the international community must help Afghanistan rebuild itself. Hello and welcome to today's Global. There's growing international concern about the spread of the Omicron variant of coronavirus, with health officials in South Africa saying the new COVID variant has become the dominant strain and is driving a sharp rise in infections in the country.